This video tutorial will explain how to create a project extent using CoreJD. Now before you can really begin viewing any of the data present, tiers 1, 2, and 3 here, you must have created a project extent. So to do that, we will zoom into our area of interest, which you can either use the zoom tool, zoom and pan tools to do, or you may come here to tools, click on find address. Simply type in your address here, and you can zoom to it. Right now, I'll just use the zoom and pan tool, so I'll come here and zoom in a little further. So now, once I've found my site, come to Tools, go to Editor. In the Editor window, in this drop-down, I click on Project Extent. To begin drawing my extent, I come here, click on this pencil, and then single click to create a vertice. As you can see, I have one vertex there. When I single click again, I have another vertex. Single click one more time here. And now to finish drawing, I simply double click. As you can see, I have been allotted 2,000 acres by default for my project extent, and the current one that I've drawn is about 1,500 acres. Now, even if your project site is much smaller than this, maybe 5 or 10 acres, it is recommended that you draw an extent much larger than your area. That way you can have data which covers you know, the surrounding area around your site. So if I'm satisfied with this shape, which I can always edit using these tools, I come here and click on Save. Now, now that my project extent has been saved, I can close the editor. And then in this main toolbar here, right at the bottom, I click on Finalize Your Project Extent. Once I do that, I get an error message that says, once you finalize this, you will not be able to edit it later, meaning you will not be able to make this larger to cover more area. So if you're unsure about this, you can always cancel it and maybe draw a larger project extent for just more acreage, something of that sort. But if when you are sure, you come here and click on OK. Now as you can see, my map is refreshed and my project extent now has data inside of it. And thus I'm ready to proceed with anything else I wish to do in the map editor which is creating a project boundary and data points, or viewing my data, identifying my data, anything of that sort. So that wraps up the project extent. Just do remember that before finalizing it, be sure of the area you have, and if you're satisfied with the size of that area.